Okay, I'm gonna assume you already know how to jack your car up. So, this is starting from your car, your Bronco or F-150, ninth gen F-150 or fifth gen Bronco, uh, jacked up. If you want to know where to find these lug nuts, best price, uh, holly.com. They're about $2.63 a piece. <laughs> to get the caliper off, the main section of the caliper, we're just going to beat these two pins out the back. I use a hammer and an old Harbor Freight screwdriver. Doesn't need to be a surgical job here. There's one. There's two, and this should coax it off easily. Just trying to break the rust. Don't breathe in this dust. And that's how you remove the pad <laughs> from the front. It's in okay shape. I'm gonna stack this up here on the radius arm for a second. At least hold it there so I don't have to hold it in my hands. I got a piece of metal here just to distribute the load and a five inch C-clamp. So go ahead and get the C-clamp on here. We're just going to clamp it down right in the middle here and on the back of the caliper. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it'll give really easily. It'll, it'll start to move, or should, in my opinion. You just crank it down a little bit. And depending on how worn your pad is, will be how long you have to push hopefully you're not changing your pads too frequently otherwise you got another problem or you're wasting money on pads I've heard that before All right, let's... that should be good enough that's almost flush if it's not I'll just squeeze a little bit more and then your bigger pad on the rear on the inside just falls right out so I got these right here. These are O'Reilly special. Now you could do what you're supposed to do, <clears throat> and that's grease it in the places it'll move. Like, I don't know, I've always used wheel bearing grease. I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy and because I'm chasing other problems here. <clears throat> okay, so you're just gonna push this in here and be careful that you don't destroy the pads you just bought you're just gonna and want it looks like I'm gonna have to squeeze this in just a little bit more 
it's easy to set up and easy to do, so right, might as well do it right. Switch around this way. <coughs> Shoving that piston back up inside there. And a stupid piece of junk. There we go. Just give me a couple extra millimeters. Alrighty. Put your pad back in here. The correct way. Slide right on your motor here. Sits right inside here. Make sure these two little V notches are lined up pretty decently. Nice and perfect. We're gonna go ahead and beat these back in. Now, the narrow part you'll see that's different here. The narrow part will face up. Uh, don't sit there and pound on it for 20 minutes. Get it right the first time. Just tap it in. Second one, wherever I put it, that part goes down. It's symmetrical here. Make sure it's lined up perfectly. Just squeeze it in there. And just start tapping away. And that should be good. There you go. Fix, and I'll bolt your wheel back up and get on the road.